Thanks again for tuning back in to Laugh Track, man. We're going to keep this show going, man. I've got a closer for tonight, man. This dude here, we've worked together for quite a while, and he's a young buck coming up. Matter of fact, that's part of his name. This dude is Robert Buck Dangerous Gibson. My man has taken over the stage. He is brash and in your face, and you've got to keep up because he can't slow this pimping down. Hey, man, let's go walk my man to the stage. Buck D in the house. Come on, baby. So he told me to hold the mic like my meat <laughs> around the base. <laughs> hey, man, uh, first of all, I'm going to let y'all know, if, if y'all haven't noticed, I'm growing my hair out. This is something real big in the black community. Uh, it, it means power, strength, you know, wearing a crown, all that good stuff. Uh, white people, they look at it as a damn petting zoo. <laughs> I still ain't figured that out yet. It's gotta be something for us. It's gotta be important for us to just grow our hair out and be nappy. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, because <laughs> she nappy too. I wish the camera would get this one right here. Anyway, so I got a story though, because one time me and my brother, man, we went out, man, we went to a little house party or whatever, and uh, we walk in the door, and the white girl, the white girl, she's like, oh my God, your hair looks like black cotton. <laughs> no, this is before she touched it. I was mad because I'm like, how the hell you gonna desecrate cotton? and make it black. <laughs> you know how many slaves died for regular white cotton? And you're gonna wait, what, 400 years later to make it black? But sometimes you gotta, you know what I'm saying, sometimes you just gotta take racism. Sometimes racism is the truth sometimes. Y'all don't like that? Y'all ain't live my life. Sometimes racism is the truth. I love chicken. I got big lips. I got a big microphone. Sometimes you got to deal with it. But I'm going to break some news to y'all, though. This is real. This is real. Anybody in the crowd who knows me knows I ain't even talked about this. I got a child on the way. One clap. Was that my baby mama in here? <laughs> One clap, really? Y'all probably surprised a black dude then really got on stage and said he got a baby on the way. No, it's real. I have a child on the way. But you know what, though? You know what I found out? Since we're having a child, that means I'm gonna have a new child, and that means I immediately got a new girlfriend. <laughs> hey, you know how I go, too. We together until we find out. <laughs> but for now, we are in love. Y'all don't wanna, y'all don't wanna clap for that? Look, I'm a young man professing my love for someone who's having my child. Y'all still don't wanna clap for that shit. Oh! Anyway, I'm a firm believer in this though. Love don't happen until domestic violence happens. <laughs> Boo, she's never been in love. Let me look who, let me look in the crowd. There's a couple of old heads in here. Uh, let me see. Y'all two look like y'all been together for a little bit. Have y'all had a domestic dispute? Uh, you with him tonight. <laughs> for the purposes of this show, you are with him tonight. <laughs> Damn it. She gonna tell the truth. No, I'm not. Actually, I like black guys. I don't know this. He's the producer of the show. That's it. So anyway, okay, yo, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll cut you out. I know who your husband is. He look, y'all. Have, have you and your man had a domestic dispute? No. Y'all, how long y'all been together? Yeah, y'all ain't long enough. No, nah, no. Nah. If you've been together. Ask anyone that you know that's been together for 10 years or more. They've had domestic disputes. That's what white people call them. <laughs> domestic violence. That's the rest of us. So this is why I say this, though. Uh, a lot of people, when they think about that, they think of a man whooping a woman's ass 
class, you know, Mayweather, Ike Turner, all in the ribs and the elevator, Ray Rice, that stuff right there. It ain't gotta be that all the time. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just, you know, you're, you're, okay, ladies, it's not just the men though. The ladies, have y'all ever went up to your men and been like this? What the hell are you doing? I told you my, to bring your ass back home. It, not the talk. This right here is the domestic violence. The, that's the domestic dispute. Dudes, y'all know, she ever been in your face, you just mush it. Ah, it's, you know, you turn it on the face like that. Ah. That's domestic dispute, that's domestic violence. And the reason why I say about love, love stands for this. L-O-V-E means this, a little bit of violence every now and then. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not, like I said, I'm not talking about Mayweather body shots and, you know, fists to the face and all that. Sometimes it's like, shut the hell up. I'm not playing with you. That right there is love. Anybody in this crowd that's been through that, you're in love. If you ain't, you young people, I'll see a little, y'all, how long y'all been together? Look, he don't even know. He looked at her, he looked at her and said, baby, how long we been together? Y'all fresh, y'all don't know nothing. Y'all liable to walk out of here and break up right now. She gonna be mad cause she gonna say, why you ain't never mush me, we ain't in love. It ain't no little bit of violence every down there that we're here. Talk. That's how I be sometimes. That's how I be. So, um, um, I got something else though. Before I get going, I got I got something else I gotta talk about. I've been in Albuquerque, or the state of New Mexico, for about eight years roughly. It's not a lot of difference between black people and Hispanics. Not at all. Just a couple shades, just a couple shades, but you know. <laughs> The thing that I noticed, y'all have a theme song for y'all's barbecue. I call them barbecues. I don't know the Mexican word. Anyway, I call them barbecues. Suavamente, besame, Elvis Crespo. Woo! That man sets it off. All the black people in here has no clue that was his name. You know what we call him in the black community? Suavamente. And y'all, I bet y'all wondering if I know the rest of it. I don't, no, I don't. That's like the Hispanic whoop, there it is. You play whoop, there it is with a gathering of two or more black people. Boom, boom, whoop, there it is. Look, see, look, 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 you see that? Let me tell you what black people don't do when Elvis Crespo come on. This us, we, we, we know that first two. Well, I just already hit it for y'all. Suavamente, besame, esclavamenteron datos. We don't know what the hell he say after that. Spaghetti and get some tacos. Then don't let us get to dancing though. All we know is two, all we know is two moves. Suavamente, besame, Spaghetti and get some tacos. Bam. Bam. It's that. Bam. That, that, that leg right there. Bam. That's the one we. Yeah. You, this is what we do. We throw our hand out like a church fan. We straighten this right leg out. Suave amende. Besame. Spaghetti, give me some tacos. I hit that. I hit that, didn't I? My hip hurt like a mug. Like that. My hip. I'm gonna walk off the stage. Just as long as nobody sings Suavemente when I walk off stage. Hey man, my name is Buck Dangerous. I had a great time. Y'all enjoy the rest of the damn evening.